Hello everyone, today we will create a real-time password validator, so let's see how it looks. Let's say a capitalized letter, add a special character and write some random text. So let's jump into coding. Before we start, you will need to add some dependencies in the Builder Gradle from the app module, uh, the lifecycle dependencies that you can get from the repository. And now let's create a new file and this is a data class that will hold our password validation state and here we will have a has minimum minimum and this is a boolean and the default is false has capitalized letter this is a boolean too value has special character and it the last one is successful and this is false too now let's create another file called validate password and now we can create a function execute and we pass the password password as a string and this returns a password validation state now I'll paste some functions, so the first function is validate special character and checks if in the password exists a special character. Another one for validate the capitalized letter. And the last one, the validate minimum. And the minimum character size is 6. Let's start by calling this function, so validate special character equals validate special character and pass the password now call the valid um let's uh, validate the capitalized letter okay and the last one validate minimum we validate minimum and pass the password now let's create a value uh, called has error and this is a list of the values that we created earlier so validate minimum validate capitalized letter and validate special character and we can call dot all and pass the it and if one fails this uh, has error will be true so now let's return the password validation state has minimum equals um, validate minimum has special character validate special character um has capitalized letter validate capitalized letter and su successful is equal to has error now let's create another file called um my screen view model and this is a view model and in the constructor we will pass private ball um, validate password and this is equal to validate password now let's create a password value and uh, this is a mutable state of empty string and let's import a get value and uh, this is a mutable variable so it's a var and this it has a private set and let's also create a function change password and a new value this that uh, is a string the password uh, password equals the new value now let's create the password error password error and this is equal to a snapshot flow let's put this on a new line of password now we map the latest values that were emitted by the password and we will call the validate password.execute and pass the latest value and then we convert the latest value into a state flow so the scope is view model scope started is sharing started while subscribed and the last one is the initial value and this is a password validation state and i think i need to opt in for something yes 
Now let's create another file and this is the my screen file that is a composable my screen that has the view model equal to view model. Let's copy this and add it as an import view model. Let's also format the code and let's start by getting the password error and this is um, this by view model password error and collect a state with lifecycle and also import this now let's create a column and uh, this will have the items in the center so vertical arrangement arrangement center horizontal alignment alignment dot center horizontally and also specify modifier field max size now we can create the outlined text field by passing the view model dot password let's form the code and on value change we will pass the view model and change password and this will create a reference directly to the function and it will pass the let's say uh, view model view model dot change password and it will pass the new value as it is here but to keep it cleaner we will use the view model change password like this um, I think I need to opt in for this let's also say visual transformation password visual transformation let's also say is error equals to pass let's negate this password error dot successful now let's add a spacer uh, with a height of 8 dp let's import the dp and let's create a column that has vertical arrangement arrangement dot spaced by and let's say 5 dp let's create a condition row condition row and this will have a condition condition as a string and uh, check which is a boolean now let's animate the color so color uh, by animate color as state and we say if check we want to to have a green color otherwise we want to have a red color let's also add the label and uh, this is a text color let's put this on separate lines and now let's animate the icon so icon equals if check uh, we want to have icons dot rounded and uh, check otherwise we will have an rounded icon of close now let's create a row that has an icon and then the image vector is the icon that we created earlier and the content description is the status icon now we can add the spacer of width 10 dp and the last thing we need to do is to add the text uh, which is the condition and we pass the color the color is equals to new color put these on separate lines and let's also add them here so condition row the first condition is minimum six characters check is equal to password error has minimum let's duplicate these and let's say has special character and replace the has minimum with has special character and has capitalized letter and let's also replace the text with has capitalized letter and now let's run the app and see how it looks and oh before that i need to add this screen to the main activity so my screen and now we can run the app oh i forgot to change the icon color but let's try the password first so let's add a capitalized letter let's also add a special one and write some ram random letters okay and now let's change the color we need to go to my screen.kt 
and say in the icon add a tint and this is equal to the color let's uh, try the app now and see if it works yeah everything it's all right so if you like this video make sure to follow me for more and also follow my blog on which i post uh, weekly content so see you next time